I'm back here with my FreeCAD basic course part three. So we are starting in the FreeCAD version 0.19. So we are currently in the 0.19.3. That's the recent version of FreeCAD 19. So let's start sketching, right? And the first thing I want to show you is the concept of the sketch mode. There are two modes of sketching. The first mode is the standard mode. All objects you are drawing here in the sketcher will be visible here in the 3D view and can be used for 3D tools like the pad command or the rotation command or whatever. But there is another mode and that's the construction mode. Construction means you only have some kind of help geometry that will not be used in the 3D view. Like for example, we can use this button here, toggle construction mode. You will see that all tools here in the upper toolbar become blue. That means we are currently in the construction mode. We select a circle and when we draw this circle you easily see that there is a different color from this circle compared to this rectangle. This is a construction mode element. Means that we can still give it some constraints. We can give it a diameter here. We can use other constraints but when we close the sketch and we go into the 3D view this circle will not be processed so it's ignored in the 3d environment so when we want to toggle the circle here from construction mode into the regular mode we can select it and also click the same button here toggle and then we toggle this selected element and now when we open the 3d view you will now see that all lines will be processed and when we pet this object here we will get this body here with the circle hole. That's a construction mode. Why do we need it? I should first um, constrain this sketch symmetrically here to the origin point. Give some dimensions, 60, 40 for instance here. And now we have some ideas like creating three circles in the plate. The first circle to be right here in the complete center of the plate and a circle here and a circle here on a line that's diagonal here from upper left to bottom right. And we can do this as close as we can, but actually we are never 100% sure how accurate it is. So we need some kind of helper geometry. And now the first option is to simply draw a line from here to there, constrain this center point on this line here, and the same here. Of course, we need at least one coordinate for this one and we need the diameters of the three circles here. Let's give it 10 millimeter, whatever. So still two degrees of freedom. That's one degree of freedom for this one and the second degree of freedom here. If we now close the sketch, you will see that we get kind of a strange uh, sketch with some intersecting lines and FreeCAD is absolutely not like intersecting lines. So we now pet this one here. You will see error fail to validate broken face. Many of you might have seen this error before. So we cannot work with it properly. So we need to get back to the sketch, select this line here and said, come on, you're just a helper geometry. You are just in construction mode. You are not to be processed in the 3D view. And now it turns blue. We close the sketch and easily we can use the sketch. That's pretty much it. The second option to do it is just before we even draw the line, we toggle the complete toolbar. Toggle, and now we can select the line tool and from the beginning we draw a construction line. So always keep in mind that you have to make sure construction mode or in the regular mode. So that's a very important concept in CAD. So let's continue with a very common mistake, especially by beginners who are new to CAD. They start with a sketch and they have their complete toolbar set into construction mode. They make a nice drawing here, a rectangle, a slot hole here and some kind of circular hole here. Everything is nice, define everything, nice constraints and everything is pretty cool. They leave it and then where is my sketch? And that's just because all 
the elements here are in construction mode and will not be processed in the 3D view. So we can select all of them with the rectangle selection and toggle the complete geometry here. Then we have this sketch here easily padded and have fun. The next tool I want to show you in FreeCAD is the polygon tool. You can draw a polygon from triangle to octagon or even more sides of polygon here with the regular polygon command. It's very straightforward. Just select, for example, here the hexagon. You draw it and as you can see, the hexagon is created by drawing a circle that's in construction mode. You see it because of the color and the rest of the geometry is regular geometry. So if we constrain it, you will see in the 3D view, you only see this hexagon shape. The circle is just construction geometry. So question for you, what's going to happen if I select everything here with the rectangle and then toggle the construction mode? Let's try it. You see that now the hexagon is construction mode and the circle is regular sketch geometry. And when we leave it here, we have a circle. Let's pad it. Okay. Go back into the sketch, select everything, toggle, close. And now we have this shape here. So very easy to understand and very easy to do. Always keep in mind what's construction mode and what's regular sketch geometry. So I hope when you watch this video here, you have already completed my FreeCAD basic course exercise one, the carburetor flange. And if not, you should do this exercise first. Try your best and create this little flange here. If you completed it, I will now show you in this video two other possibilities how you can create a sketch like that. So we start with this sketch that I already prepared for you. It contains this center hole here with a 60 millimeter diameter and the two small holes with the 24 millimeter diameter here. I used in my solution the polyline tool just because it's probably my favorite tool in the FreeCAD sketcher. But there are other options that we can use. Um, let's start with a diamond shape that we are creating first, either with simple lines here or with the polyline tool. I will do it with lines and avoid the polyline tool completely for this kind of solution. So I create four lines. The first line from here to there, the second line from here to there, from here to there the third line, and from here to there the last line. So we have these four lines here, something like a parallelogram here. So, and now we need to have rounded corners. We don't want to have these sharp corners here. So we need something to fillet corners. And to fillet corners, we have two options in FreeCAD 19. That's the sketch fillet and the constraint preserving sketch fillet. The difference between the sketch fillet and the constraint preserving sketch fillet simply is that this vertex here, the point where the two lines collapse, will not be deleted if we select a constraint preserving sketch fillet. I can show it to you. We select constraint preserving sketch fillet and fill it between these two lines here. We receive this little fillet here. We can select the center point of the arc and center point of the hole to be coincident. And we still have this little vertex here that has been the point where these two lines collapsed. We can use the different command, the regular sketch fillet between this and this line here. And as you will see, you still receive an arc. You still have the center point of the arc. You can set it to coincident, but you are no longer able to manipulate here this point where these two lines met before I created the fillet. So let's fill it these two lines also and these two lines also. And now what do we have to do? We have to set an equality constraint between these two arcs here and set the radius of the arc to be 24 millimeter as well. And then we have to set coincident constraints between this arc center point, this arc center point and the center of the 
shape. Yep. And the last thing we need to do, we only have one degree of freedom left here, is to set a radius for this outer shape of 50 millimeters and then completely avoiding the polyline tool, we also created this shape. And if we wanted to, we could pad it up and create exercise one. The next topic we should talk about is trimming. Trimming means that you create more geometry than you actually need. Let me show you an example. We will create this larger and a smaller circle here and connect these two with tangent lines. Have a close look if they are really created tangent. At the moment they are not. At the moment they are just created with constraint. That means that the end point of the line is somewhere on the sketch on the circle but not tangent. So we have to do this manually. Tangent constraint circle and the line and the same here. Now we have tangent constraints here. You see that? We should give the proper dimensions, maybe 24 millimeters here and 50 millimeters here. Now let's drag it a little bit to the left and define a horizontal distance of 100. So now I can show it a little bit better. So. What does trimming mean here? Trimming means that we will remove unnecessary geometry. I will draw another line and do the exact same. Give the tangent constraints here. And if we now go to the 3D view, you will find out that this geometry is not useful to be padded. So we do the pad and as you already know, failed to create face from wire in sketch. That means that there is not one single outline and we need a single proper outline. That means that this part here of the mid circle and this part of the left circle are just too much here. Many other CAD systems will work with sketches like this without a problem, but here in FreeCAD it's not possible so far. So we need to trim. We select the trim command here from the toolbar and click this part of the circle and click this part of the circle. Now you will see that the constraints have changed. We now only have this tangent constraint here and it looks clean. On the first side it looks clean, we can close it. Let's try to pad it and we have a proper geometry here. If you want to add holds, we can change the sketch and create maybe a circle here and a circle here. Give proper diameters here, 86 and maybe 30. And we have a fine, nice tool here. So you see, you, you need one single outline and therefore you can use the trim command. I don't work with the trim command too often, but because sometimes it will mess up with your proper constraint geometry. It might delete constraints and set some new constraints that are not valid. You always have to be a little bit careful when using the trim command here. So that's trimming. Complete opposite of the trimming is the extend and edge. So it, you could, for example, draw this line here and then just click extend this line until here and then you extended it. But actually, I don't really need this tool very often. So you can play around with it and maybe you need it more than I do. Um, extension is by far not as useful as the trimming. The next tool we want to talk about is to create linked edge to an external geometry. Let's stay in this example here. We have a 3D body and we want to create another sketch that references on the previous sketch. We select the pad, click spacebar, make it invisible, click the sketch press spacebar and make this one here visible. 
we create a new sketch that's placed on the XY plane. And then we can reference to the first sketch's geometry simply by selecting create an edge linked. And then we link these two edges and these two circles into the new sketch. Let's close it and have a look at it. We hide the first sketch and you will see sketch 001 is not visible because this linked geometry that's uh, in this pink color is not a real geometry that will be displayed in the 3D view, but we can reference on this geometry and that's what we are going to do now. We just select um, the line tool, create one line here, create one line here. Then we create an arc with endpoints here, here and here. Wow, that was an auto constraint that I did not want to set. So I go to undo and an arc from here to here. So like that. And now we can set this center point of the arc and the circle center coincident, same here, coincident. We make this line and this line parallel, same here, parallel. So we have four degrees of freedom left. Let's give the proper radius here. 52 and maybe 26. Let's see what's still undefined, okay. That's pretty simple to solve. Point and edge and distance. 15, point and edge, distance also 15. So now we created another sketch that references on the other geometry. Let's close it. And you can see this is second sketch, this is the first sketch. So let's enable the pad here, select sketch 001 and create a pocket from it, reverse through all, and we created this little pocket in the 3D geometry. Why did we have to use another sketch? You could ask, it's completely unnecessary, just draw this pocket also in this sketch here. Yes, of course, that's possible. But imagine the following idea. You don't want to pocket this pocket here all the way through, but maybe only, let me change it, maybe only mm, six millimeters. Then you see you have the pocket here on the bottom, but not through the whole geometry. So if you put it in this sketch, it will be completely always through the whole geometry. So don't create too complicated sketches. Keep the sketches at an appropriate complexity and always try to go for different sketches. So always be careful with the create an edge linked command and prefer to link 2D geometry like other sketches, but avoid linking to 3D edges and 3D geometry in FreeCAD. So that was Basic Course Part 3. I have one other recommendation for you. If you go to the FreeCAD forums, I'm showing you a document by a FreeCAD veteran here, Chris B., who created a document that's called the Sketcher Lecture that has in-depth information about how to create proper sketches in FreeCAD. I will give you a link in the video description and I'm showing you what I mean. I will open the document here. So this is the Sketcher Lecture by Christoph Blaue, who created this for the FreeCAD forums. It's a super in-depth guide how to use the FreeCAD Sketcher. It has so much information at hand for you and completely for free if you go to the FreeCAD forums. I will post you a link to this in the video description. You should absolutely check this out and become better in creating great and proper FreeCAD sketches. So if you have any questions or comments you want to leave me under the video, feel free to do so and have a great time. The next video will contain another exercise for you because exercising is key 
to learning FreeCAD. Have a great time. Flowy is out. Goodbye.